airport in the National Airspace System has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Chandler Municipal is a medium-sized, primarily general and corporate aviation airport, located approximately 14 miles southeast of the larger and busier Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport. Its location makes it an attractive alternative to the more congested, larger airport. Chandler has its own Class Delta airspace that is immediately adjacent to the Mesa Gateway Airport, located 8 miles to the east. It also underlies the Phoenix Class Bravo airspace. Understanding the requirements to operate in these areas before you arrive at Chandler is essential. The traffic mix includes the entire spectrum of fixed and rotary wing, general and corporate aviation aircraft. Several flight schools are located at the airport and flight training makes up a good portion of the traffic volume. The runway configuration consists of a single set of parallel runways with staggered thresholds, labeled 4 left and right and 2 2 left and right. All services and facilities are located on the west side of the airport. A straightforward taxiway system provides access. The system includes full length parallel taxiways on each side of the runways. As with any airport in this runway and taxiway configuration, the risk of wrong surface landings and departures exists. Pilots need to be aware that several different biases may lead them to attempt a landing on the wrong surface. In particular, pilots that are cleared to land on runway 22 right sometimes line up for or land on the more dominant looking runway 22 left. To further aid you in avoiding cutting off traffic, as well as incorrectly landing on runway 22 left, when on base leg for runway 22 right, Take note of the oblong white roofed building in line with and just northeast of the runway. This building may obscure your view toward final approach, making runway 22 left even more prominent. As mentioned earlier, there is a robust helicopter training community located on the field. These helicopters primarily do their pattern work utilizing Taxiway Charlie on the east side of runway 4 right. 22 left. The traffic pattern for the helicopters is 400 feet lower than the fixed wing pattern, 1900 versus 2300 respectively. While fixed wing aircraft fly a typical base or crosswind, helicopters fly a single rectangular pattern within one half mile of taxiway Charlie. To avoid conflicting with the wider and higher fixed wing traffic, do not extend any leg of the pattern without ATC approval. Conversely, fixed wing pilots should not make a short approach or early crosswind turn without first requesting that from the tower. While these procedures keep the traffic segregated, if you're flying a low wing aircraft, remember that the wing may shield the helicopters from view. Do not descend from pattern altitude without having all traffic in sight. Helicopter pilots at Chandler must become familiar with the established helicopter procedures and follow the tower's instructions closely. Do not cross runways without tower authorization, and if ever unsure of your clearance, ask. Remember, both helicopter and fixed wing pilots are responsible to see and avoid. If you lose sight of your traffic, let the tower know. Hotspot 1 is located at the intersection of the approach end of runway 22 right and taxiway November. The issue concerns aircraft landing runway 22 left and exiting at taxiway November. Even after receiving hold short instructions, pilots have crossed the hold short lines and taxied onto runway 22 right. Remember, you must have the appropriate clearance to taxi on any runway, active or not. Another issue occurs in this area, especially during heavy departure traffic on runway 22 right. Due to aircraft in the run-up area, or traffic backed up on taxiways November and Alpha, Tower will sometimes issue clearance to Taxi on runway 22 right and Exit at Mike. 
If you receive such a clearance, expeditious compliance is requested. Transient parking sometimes becomes full at Chandler. In this case, the tower may direct aircraft to another parking area located at the far north end of the airport. When leaving this area and taxiing for departure, pilots will notice a large area that is painted green. This is not a taxiway, nor is it the run-up area. Aircraft are to remain clear of this area. If you are unsure or confused, stop and ask the tower. They will help you stay on the appropriate route. The last area to be aware of is found in the hangar area, located on the southernmost end of the airport. If you taxi into this area, be advised that once you turn off taxiway Alpha on either taxiways Golf or Foxtrot, your aircraft is not visible from the tower. When exiting this area, accurate position reports to the tower on initial contact will help the tower provide appropriate instructions and clearance. Pilots are reminded that any time they are taxiing from a non-movement area onto the movement area, they must have the appropriate clearance before crossing the single solid, single dashed line. Active scanning outside the aircraft will help avoid this type of mistake. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Chandler will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower, keep the operations safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Chandler Municipal Airport. It's always better to know before you go.